Hey, what's up, guys? Ryan Latham here with another Youth Pastor Conversation. Super excited to uh, bring to you another conversation. Today, right now, we're going to be talking about Bible literacy. And uh, as we all know, helping students engage in the Word of God is very important, but also yeah. really tough. And uh, and so we're going to have my friend here, Steve, talk to us a little bit about what they're doing at Faith Promise. So, Steve, thanks for jumping on this conversation again. Yeah. Hey, Ryan, thanks so much for having me. Just uh, a short hello introduction. Anybody listening, paying, paying attention, tuning in. My name's Steve Kerr. I have the privilege of being a student pastor at Faith Promise Church here in Knoxville, Tennessee. We're a multi-site church. We have seven campuses across the state of Tennessee, another campus in Costa Rica. And man, uh, God has been so good uh, here through COVID. Uh, ended up here in co- uh, 2019, December of 2019, and you know March of 2020 it was on. So it's been awesome. But Ryan, hey, thanks again for giving me this opportunity. Uh, I would just love just to quickly share a little bit of celebration and really just continue to champion because I know this is not a new thought um, or new concept. I think every student pastor, listen, if you've been in the game for the last year then you've heard this and you know that this reality is true. And I really just want to take some time to encourage you, right? Not all of us have our masters in divinity and, and feel comfortable, you know, get breaking every uh, Bible, book in the Bible down for each student, but we can encourage them to have a personal relationship with the Bible, right? So that is a personal relationship with God. And what that looks like really for us has been, again, introducing students to the notion and and concept of a physical Bible. Listen, Bible apps aren't bad. Shame is never a tool. We don't use shame or guilt to get students to do things, but we celebrate and we teach from the Bible. You know, we think it's super important and we've, we've made it a point that when we teach that we do our best, not just to give application, right? Cause that's an, that's an old strategy and it's great. It works, but also to give them context, to, to tell them what was going on. And at the time that the original audience, that the author um, intended and why that matters. And so again, I know I say this humbly, it's not about numbers. We have a large student ministry. We see over 400 students every Wednesday here. Um, and you would think, man, that's got to be really hard to get 400 students that bring their Bible. And I'll tell you, sometimes it is, uh, especially when there's a break. But here, here's the reality. The more that I press in on the word, the more that they see me with the word in my hand, um, as well as our other student pastors, the more engaged they are. So Ryan, I make sure that every opportunity I have that I'm encouraging them, hey, if you have your Bible, open it up. We're going to turn to this book and I give them some references um, and then celebrate them, right? Like I get to know students in the lobby when we're hanging out and having fun and you see them carrying their Bible. You get to know them and their Bibles in their backpack. And, you know, another thing that we started doing, and this sounds so simple, Ryan, this sounds so simple. But for we, every student pastor on our team, we said, hey, for the next month, every Wednesday, find five students, ask them if you can see their Bible, go in their Bible, highlight a scripture, and tell them that you want them to read that scripture this week. And bro, do you know what that does to a student? The fact that you have just personally invited them, that you've made it so personal, that you met them, that you brought your highlighter out and highlighted a scripture for them, Man, they get so challenged by that, intrigued by that, and excited by that. It, again, it helps foster a a deeper desire for the word, man, for students to engage with the word. So if I can just encourage student pastors, student leaders, volunteers to come up with with little ways. that They don't have to be these big, grand ideas, but little ways to engage students in the word. Please do that. We're, we're seeing so many good things. Again, our internship uh, has been awesome because students have started made it, making it part of their regular time. We've had students start their own Bible studies, right? We facilitate small groups on Wednesday nights. We have students making their own Bible studies in their schools, public schools, not just private, uh, because we have um, increased uh, the, the challenge and the invitation uh, for students to, to read the Bible. So it's been awesome, man. 
All right, so how do we uh, bring that into, you mentioned a little bit about in terms of your preaching, talking about yep. giving a little bit of context, those types of things, but how does you know that shape how you put together your sermons, your messages, thinking through, uh, have, helping them engage in the word and not just kind of listen to it? Does that, is yeah. I'm assuming it helps shape and frame your, oh, your sermon prep? Yeah. So that, well, again, that's a great question, Ryan. We, we, we have to consider those things, right? I think, again, let me just say this. I think that oftentimes um, as student pastors, well, when we're writing a message, you know, we can, we can have a tendency to do two, one of two things. And one is, um, you know, focus so much on the ten- tension application parts of it that we forget why the word matters, right? Like, we're just like, hey, the word stands on itself and it does. But students need to know, like they need to understand why it's relevant. You know, some of them literally think, hey, this is just an old book that my grandma, grandpa, you know, have kept on their coffee table for years. It's not relevant to my life. And so we write as a team, we gather together as a team and we talk about, hey, we're doing this series. Here's the here's the the main uh, scriptures we're going to be using. Rather than adding more scripture to it, let's dive in deeper, right? Like, let's give some context about the book of Luke, the author, who was Luke. Like, why why are we why was this written? Who was it written to? You know, who added the information um, and and stuff like that. What was going on at that time? You know, so. Um, Again, we we write in that way. We try to make sure that our writings and our teachings continue to foster a continued thought in that way. Um, and that's that's the best way we know how to do it, man. I love it. So have you guys done any kind of like um, uh, like like reading plans or suggested yeah. kind of the like, hey, we're all doing this together? Yep. Or do you leave like kind of cliffhangers at the end of your yeah. message where it's like, hey, now go read yeah. this? You know, kind of yeah. Thing. So actually, again, great question. So we we do a couple different things as a whole church. I mean, kids all the way through um, our, our students and of course, uh, those more seasoned Christ followers, we do the one year Bible reading plan. We do that as a church. It's part of our website. We make reference to that, whether again, you, you would check us out on YouTube, whether it's the student ministry, um, or our weekend experience, like we're making reference to that and inviting them in and telling them like, Hey, if you missed a day, you know, it's okay. Come join us. Um, but then we're also offering again, a, a re a Bible, um, study for those students who want to start um, a Bible study. And again, those are just things that we've um, come up with and and really just kind of looked out. I don't know if I'm allowed to give anybody a shout out here, um, but this this book right here, this exposition uh, on the book of Luke, I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if I'm allowed to even show that, but that's one of the things, that's one of the things that we've been uh, doing again, the book of Luke, it's been, it's been awesome. And again, you know, here's the thing with students in scripture, right? It's most often we as student pastor, I'll speak for myself. I believe the first 10 years of my life in student ministry, I believe that it was my job to literally use the Bible, like creating a pizza, right? Like I'm going to just deliver them this made pizza. And I think the thing that we got to think through now is that students no longer desire to see a ready-made pizza. They want to know how it was made. They, they want to be part of crafting that, that, that experience. So they want to understand more uh, of the context of what was happening. And so Again, Ryan, just just inviting them into that, which actually, again, we have students. Some of them are are our interns. Um, Some of them just are personally invited into a monthly meeting that we have on Monday nights where we ask students to come in and we tell them, hey, we're thinking about this series. What do you all think is is a need? What do you desire? What is it you want to know? Um, And so, you know, we're not reactive. Uh, Please don't misunderstand me. But we want to make sure that we're not trying to force feed them something or, um, you know, just packaging things because it sounds pretty, um, but inviting them in. And, and they'll tell us, hey, we want to learn more about the Old Testament, right? We want to learn more about Genesis or Exodus or, you know, whatever it might be. Um, or, or again, back into the New Testament. So student engagement, man, just like uh, Bible engagement, the word, it's, it's, it, it works and it matters. 
So good. Thank you so much. Bible literacy is vital yes. and uh, it'll transform you and your ministry. Amen. And uh, I want to encourage all of us to consider and think about how can we, uh, you know, put emphasis on getting students into their word and allowing the word speak to them. And so, Steve, thanks so much for your time. Yes. And I uh, look forward to bringing you guys another, another conversation here real soon. Awesome. Thanks, Ryan.